We're now joined on the Sports Mix by the head football coach at Jefferson and Craig Hunter. Coach Hunter, your team comes out with a 54-27 to victory against Musselman last week. Overall, what were your thoughts on the game against the Appleman? Uh, you know, it was it, – I thought the team – I thought our team played well, uh, especially in the first half. Uh, I thought there were some, you know, adjustments we had to make defensively to get things going defensively. Uh, like I said, like I said last week, prior to the game, when you when you go against teams who run un, untraditional offenses um, and untraditional alignments that you're not used to being set up, um, it's hard to it's hard to simulate that in practice. So you know, I think in, after the first half, I think we were able to make some some adjustments on the fly um, defensively and was able to uh, you know kind of stifle the running game a little bit in the second half a little bit more. Um, I thought, you know, I thought we did well uh, offensively moving the ball. Uh, so the team overall did a, did a good job of, of staying focused and, and trying to handle business and, and trying to pull out the victory, which we did. Coach, how do you think uh, seeing Millbrook and Musselman and kind of all the different things that they like to do will prepare your team uh, for the postseason when you could face really anybody that could do anything? Uh, you know, well, I, you know, like I always say, is that um, I always say, you know, what's going to help, what's going to help you in the postseason, and, and also being um, in the others, you, you got to bring, got to help. Hopefully, you can bring your running game with you. Um, so, us seeing a lot of running teams uh, late in the season, uh, hopefully, prepares us defensively for what's going to transpire in the playoffs. Is seeing teams try to run the ball, eat up clock. Um, do things like that. So we got to be able to make sure defense that we can stop the run, get them off the field, keep them behind the sticks. Um, and then offensively, you know, so just just maintaining the course, uh, putting pressure on their defense uh, as best we can, and us staying in front of the sticks. So hopefully, you know, seeing these teams that run the ball a lot, um, they give you untraditional offenses, uh, help us out getting ready for the playoffs. And you never know who you're going to see. You've hit part of a season now here, four straight wins, dominating wins as well. How much has that really been a confidence boost to your team after the uh, start of the year? Uh, you know, it's it's very it's a big boost. You know that um, this is uh, this has happened uh, at this point in time. You know, the start of the year is a little sluggish. Uh, you know, we knew as coaches, we knew it was going to be a tough, tough first four games based on the opponents that we played and, and how things were going to go. Uh, we didn't know how the how the win loss record was going to come out. You know, you hope you get all of them, but you know, realistically, there's a chance you could drop one or two. Um, we didn't think we were going to drop three of them, but uh, you know, it happened. We had to dig our heels in and express to the kids, hey, you know, we got to dig our heels in. Don't just sit back and bank on the fact there's only 16 teams in quad A and you're already in the playoffs. Now we got to, we got to fight for positioning in the playoffs. So and that's all. That's what we, after those first four games, that's all we preached was, you know, we got to fight for positioning. If you want to play at home instead of traveling, because we all know the year we went to Huntington back to back weeks was not fun. Um, so, you know, and I think that set in the kids head and they wanted to accomplish goals themselves especially the seniors so they dug in just as much as we dug in with them and um we were able to get some of these things accomplished so far and hopefully we can finish the fight uh these next two uh, regular season games and take that fight into the playoffs coach is this kind of a i guess unique experience for you as a coach where you start 0-2 and, and, and the games weren't super close to see now where your team's playing at this point in the year have you seen that before from a team or or how does that i guess prove that your team has, has really uh come together i mean you know you're, you're playing you know you're, but you're also i mean you're also playing two teams one both of them only have one loss um so both those teams only have one loss. Uh, I feel like it was early in the season for us. Um, I know, I know. We everybody thinks that we we have a lot of returners, but we're really young in some spots. And I think it just took us a while to get get those young those young guys going. Um, like I said, we're really we were we were really young. And we're really young on the offensive line. Uh, so I think it took a while to get that that whole group 
to gel together and make sure we had the right the right athletes in the right spot on the offensive line as coaches coming into a year where we had to replace you had to replace three guys. Um, so, you know, um, I think it took a couple games to get them going. Um, I think as, as the season went on, that, that unit has continually gotten better. And I think they're continually getting better as we speak right now. They get better each week uh, with game plan and plays and being aggressive and getting on blocks, staying on blocks, uh, less penalties. Uh, so I think they're getting better. And I think it just took a while to get them going. But, you know, you have, you have periods and times where you might not do well at the beginning of the season. You pick it up. You might do well at the beginning of the season. And things happen, you might fall to the end of the season. I, I mean, I've seen it all. Um, I've seen I've seen nine and one seasons. I've seen zero and ten seasons. So, you know, in this course of time, you head coach thirteen years, been coaching over twenty years. Uh, you see a lot of things. So, you know, I've seen I've seen almost everything. Speaking of seeing, what have you seen so far in the film that you've gotten to look at of this week's opponent, Clarksburg? Uh, they got a they got a good good running back, a uh, pretty good running game. Um, they're going to uh, they they do throw the ball. They're a little balanced. Uh, it's almost kind of almost not really, but kind of almost a mirror image of looking at yourself a little bit. Um, they do throw the ball. Uh, so I mean, we want to come ready to defend the run in the pass well. And defensively, they seem to play. Uh, Nothing different than what we haven't seen before. They're going to play a four-two-five uh, defense, uh, some zone, some man. Um, so you know we just got to be ready for everything they're going to throw at us. Uh, you know, pretty pretty good team. Um, I think I think they're I think skill-wise and everything. I think they're they're better and stronger than what they were last year. Um, as overall team um, with their growth, because I know they were young last year too. So um, you know, hopefully we we can go down to Clarksburg, Maryland, and, and Bring home a W. It's just train rolling. And coach, if I'm not mistaken, I believe if, if it's still the case, uh, the head coach was in your wedding. So big, big game. Was what? Wasn't he in your wedding, or is that a different team? No, yes, he he was he he, he stepped down, but he was yeah. Uh, okay. The last year's last year's head coach was he was he was my best man in my wedding. Yeah. Um. So yes, but he stepped down. So uh, okay. He, he said he he's, he's had a. He's done his full share of football. He's been he's kept been coaching longer than I've been coaching. So, you know, he just decided he he was ready to retire, just teach. Well, what are some of the uh, differences you're seeing from them this year compared to last year? Obviously, they're four and four uh, after a tough. I mean, season just last year. Um, a little different uh, offensively. Um, you know, last year I, we, he's my buddy, so I knew a little bit more that you know he's a wing T based guy. But even though they ran a spread, it's a lot of wing T based. Um, running scheme out of it. The way they blocked it was a lot of wing team based. Um, this year is a little bit more different. Um, they run a little. They run a little bit more H back, uh, a little bit power, uh, pulling the H back, kicking, doing some counter with him. Uh, run a lot of two by two, three by one formations. Uh, so I mean, they do a little bit different stuff uh, than what he did last year. He just got to get ready for everything. Um, so. And I, hopefully, I think the kids will be ready. I think hopefully we had a we had a decent decent uh, install practice yesterday. We had a pretty good install practice yesterday. Hopefully, we can pick it up today and keep keep everything going. What's it going to take for your team to get the win Friday night? Uh, execution. Um, it's always about execution. Uh, assignments. Uh, knowing our assignments. Executing. You know, it's a game. It's a game. You know, after the first week, it's a game of blocking, tackling, catching. Uh, if we can do all those things, um, I think we'll be successful. And if we can negate the things that that they have to do, which is we got to get off blocks, uh, we got to make them miss tackles, and we got to knock balls down so they can't catch them. Uh, so if we can, if we can do those things, if we can definitely do those things and do the do the fine things and, and fine tune everything. Uh, I think we'll. I think we'll be all right. Um, but you know, once again, you know, you never know what's going to happen on a Friday night. That's why you play the game. All right, coach. We'll get to the uh, the fun question this week. So, if it being Halloween this week, uh, <laughs> what's your favorite costume right. you ever had, and do you have a costume for this year? 
I do not have a costume for this year. I'm too old for that. Um, <laughs> I do not have a costume. I would say my my favorite costume that I ever wore was probably Shaft. Uh, being Shaft. So that was my favorite one. Wearing a wearing a small afro and and just walking around, being 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 even though I'm already cool, but being cool like Shaft was. All right. Thank you for the time. And I feel like nobody's ever too old for a Halloween costume. So. <laughs> I, I feel like I'm too old to go get in the costume and, and walk around right now. I don't, I don't, I don't, I, don't I, won't, I won't say I'm too old. I don't have the time. That's what I'll say. I don't have the time to All right. do that. Best of luck, Friday, right. Coach. Thank you for your time today. Right. Thank you.